Okay guys, welcome back. Today we are back on the EM2. So I'm not doing body work today because, well, body work sucks. It really, how do I do that for a living? I honestly have no idea. But today we are, Chris is here. Chris is here. That's my head. Wait, wait, wait. There is Chris. Uh, Chris is here and we are going to put the K24 in this freshly painted engine bay. You gonna scratch it? No stress. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, I can pick your nose. You, 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 there you go. You can <laughs> scratch my engine bay. So, uh, it shouldn't really be that bad because we're putting it up as K-frame, everything together, but those are famous last words. So here is our setup that we are gonna put into the car. Once we get it up, we gotta get it on its wheels because it'd be nice to be able to you know, jack up, do its thing. Five bolt is not staying because, well, I like to party and I have TSW wheels that look way nicer. So let's uh, get this bad boy slid over. Should we put the exhaust on now or wait? We'll have to wait because the sway bar has to come off as well to use the EM2 sway bar to fit the long tube header. Hey Chris, have you been to the gym yet today? Oh chaga! Ready? Oh, I'm ready, I'm not ready. Keep going. Ah! My lip. Don't break the only good thing on this car. Okay, Sin. Thanks for thanks for stopping by guys. Grab that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the Never stop, forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, it. no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man. I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life the hell. Version two isn't part of this, so painting the whole car was not that. Because technically, I had all silver panels to match the car after it hit a deer, and I could have just put it together, drive it, and it still would have been a seven out of ten. So seven out of ten isn't bad because. You know, I just had a couple dents in the fender. It was just for like out dents, nothing crazy. And that's what most people would have done. But I want to take this car to car shows. I want to show you guys. I want to meet you guys. So that's why I'm doing Laguna Blue with the EL front end. So what I'm trying to get at is all power coating, uh, engine bolts and stuff will go after version one is done. That's a running and driving K24. And then I will end up power coating every nut and bolt and I'm gonna buy a set of new mounts. So we do have a set of uh, inserts in the front and a solid mount in the back that came off the RSX. So we're gonna have to just make do of the rusty bolts and the rusty mounts for now. So I'm not gonna spend the budget because I wanna be as cheap as possible to show you guys. You guys can do this at home as well and have Chris, looks like he's losing his mind over there. And uh, you know, you can have your friend going crazy as well. So we're just test fitting a couple things. We're putting the washer, washer bottle on because the fog lights for the EL go right here. So we're kind of concerned about that. That's going to go up like that, up and around. Next thing we're doing is we went and got an EP3 rad and it was $50. So we'll add $50 to the budget. It's up on the screen because I don't know what it is offhand. So everyone says EP3 rad is what you need to use. But you will see this fan here hits there. Well, what we could do, Chris, Chris thinks the bigger fan is for heat and the smaller fans for AC. They should be the same width. So we'll take this off right quickly. We'll undo the 10 mils. We'll swap the fan to the other side and away we go. 
I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people will run actually a slim fan if you're going turbo. That's version 5.0. I don't know. Depending on where we're going, we're going uh, case swap, which we're doing now. Then we're going body and paint, which we're doing now as well. And then we're going to drive it, and then we're going all-wheel drive before we go turbo because I want the all-wheel drive system working. And then we're going turbo. So you know we're building up so for now we're gonna run the ep3 ride because that's what everyone said that we had to use and i'm new to honda so i believe everything i read on the internet yay nope. we're gonna have to get it off no matter what well, they should be having a side is that we hope we don't have an issue on that side so a couple issues a, the fog light is hitting the washer bottle, so we're going to have to get one out of an accurate EL. Not that big of a deal. The big of a deal is you'll see here our rad, which I'm pretty sure is EP3 rad that we paid 50 bucks for, is hitting the actual grill of the accurate EL bumper. So I'm going to have to do a little research to see what people are running, if they've done a K swap and an EL front end swap. If not, I think we're gonna to have to run a half ride now. Watch well, if people run them the turbo, there should be no reason why I can't run it. Actually, I have an OEM half ride, so we might just make that work. So for now, we're gonna take the bumper cover back off so we can get, or we can just put the hood on for now, call it a day. I'm gonna wait for dinner anyway. So I'm going to leave the video with that guys, it's a lot in this video and there's a lot of issues to address, mostly from doing the version 2 before the version 1 is done, which would be the EL front. Because technically the EP3 rad would have worked for the Civic bumper, but it doesn't work where this is lowered. So I'm going to have to address that. We have to fit the headlights a little better, which is just a couple more grinding, and then we'll mount the uh, front part of the fender where the hole doesn't line up. I'll show you the workaround for that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, next video, we're back to bodywork. All right, against my better judgment, we're gonna cut this across, probably right around here somewhere. We're gonna lose that one. That one can stay if I cut it like here and down. And I'll still have this one and this one. So let's have some fun. So this is now good. Technically, I could probably trim that a little more, which I'm going to anyways, because um, I want to sand that. I'm going to end up painting this probably black with the old faded chrome. I'll prime that, have that black. Um, that will go in there like factory. That will go there like factory. That will go there like factory. I might end up drilling a hole here, drilling a hole here, so I can go clip, clip, clip and then clip here and a clip here now the only downfall of doing this is i shave this rad support so that's going to be the little rod the rubber for the hood this one's a little rubber for the no this is the rubber rubber for the hood this is just a round rubber that the hood rests on same with that one and this one so technically one two three four five holes there well these two are going to be the uh cable going into here so those are good these three aren't i'm probably just going to put like a nut insert or something there and just screw something in like something nice it's uniform looks clean there 12 minutes of my life that i will never get back